In this problem, we have given that the extremities of the diagonal of a rectangular parallelopiped whose faces are parallel to the coordinate planes are minus 2, 4, 6 and 3, 16, 6. From this given information, we have been asked to find what is the length of the base diagonal. So, this calls for a figure immediately because we need to identify which is the base in order to find the length of the diagonal of the base. So, let us mark the axis first. So, let us take this as x, y and z axis in order to get a right handed coordinate system. Once we have this, so let us see what we can do. So, we are looking at a parallelopiped of this form. All right, and so the parallel paper, if you have a look at it, then it is immediate that the z coordinates are actually not varying of the two points. So, which means that since this we have taken at the z axis, then this and further you, if you see, then the x and the y coordinates are varying. So, what it means is that this point. Uh, actually corresponds to, so let us take this point as minus 2, 4, 6. So, if I take this as P1 and this as P2, then I can consider this point to be P1 and this point to be P2. Because the points which are given to us, their z coordinate is remaining is the same but their x and the y coordinates are changing. So, that is why we are immediately able to deduce that the points are actually corresponding to the diagonal. And we have also found out that this is what the, the, so this is not the base, but rather the top of the parallelopiped. But if you take the length of the diagonal of this, this will be the equal to the length of the diagonal of the base. So, what it means is all that we need to do is to find the length of the diagonal distance between P1 and P2. That is all is the question actually, just that it has been asked indirectly. And for that we very well have the distance formula and one can immediately use the distance formula and get. So, we have the diagonal is equal to the square root of, so we are looking at phi square plus 2 12 square, so which is equal to 13. So, it is actually a very simple problem just using the distance formula, but you have to draw a figure and actually find out what is the base and what is the diagonal that we need to compute.